I don't, I don't know where the U.S. military was or anything like this. I heard people robbing each other. They were breaking into each other's homes. People were trying to steal things from cars on the street. People were stealing food. People were, were absolutely trying to take things from each other and they were doing it by force and willing to die for it. And all of a sudden I looked at it and I said, what is going on? I grabbed my head and I said, what is going on? And all of a sudden I saw China and Russia coming into the United States of America. I, I don't know that I understand it, but they, they were military, they were uh, uh, soldiers, and they were coming in to maintain the peace. I don't, I don't know where the US military was or anything like this, but they were coming in and what they were doing was putting people in concentration camps. They were arresting people, Chinese soldiers and Russian soldiers were arresting people and they were taking guns from everybody. I, I grabbed my face and I said, what? I said, what are Chinese soldiers and Russian soldiers doing in America? And she's crying. I guess, what's the matter, honey? What's going on? She says, Rose's parents, they haven't told you? I'm like, I'm puzzled. She walks uh, me to the TV and Taiwan has been attacked and um, they're being slaughtered. She looks at my, uh, my wife's parents and says, the Philippines, the phone lines have all been hijacked. They're dead. Nobody can get through to anybody. Um, they can't get a hold of Rose's grandma. That's my wife's uh, grandparents. Um, the, news comes to, uh, the news cuts to a special report that North Korea has sent ICBMs to Japan and two have been shot down already, um, but exploded and believed to be of a nuclear force. So like every road that I was trying to go down, I saw helicopters, choppers, like, and they weren't our people. They were another country. And so I saw them, the soldiers, um, marching down the street, kind of going after people. And they were being really nice to me, but I knew that this was just a front to get information out of me. And I knew that I was going to be killed afterwards. And, and then one of her family members, and I'm not gonna say who, but this family member became really disor dis disoriented and it was as though they were possessed. And then this person went to the cities to harm people. Um, the Lord did reveal to me that there are bombs like underground already here in the US. This war that is about to take place very soon. This is something very huge. God's wrath is coming to the United States. Russian jet plane with a bunch of missiles on it swoop down and do a, a bombing pass over a freeway. I look to the right and I see the freeway and it's pretty much all across the United States. But these freeways were absolutely jam packed with cars. As far as you could see, there were cars on top of cars on top of cars and people were honking and panicking and trying to escape. And the Russians blew up the freeway and it blew up all the cars. And when it blew up, me and my wife ran back inside, sat down and we're like, well, we have to submit to what they're going to do. And so the Holy Spirit took me in the spirit to show me what it will be like with the Russians ruling over us. And to put it quite simply, absolute lawlessness and affliction. And I just saw how absolutely lawless it's going to be when the Russians rule over the United States. People had no time to run. People had no time to escape. This came suddenly. Suddenly in an hour, as he tells us in Revelation 18, it came suddenly, folks, and it was so devastating and so much. It was the entire city was being destroyed, utterly destroyed. I saw the Brooklyn Bridge, which is a bridge made out of steel. It snapped in like twigs in four pieces and, and it fell to the water. Uh, crying, screaming, in total panic like I've never seen in my life, not even in the movies. And cause a huge, 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 huge explosion. I've never seen anything like this before. People are running around and now people are like are in hiding and stuff like that. Everybody was shocked. That That's, that's what the biggest feeling was, was shocked. No one could believe that this was actually happening.
that this was happening to us because we've never really been attacked except for like, you know, the Alamo, Pearl Harbor, that sort of thing. Um, oh, and of course 9-11. But everyone's trying to hide by now and more and more troops are coming in, foreign troops invading more and more and more. It was a total invasion of the United States. The, the skies were filled with planes. Bombs were dropping. It was a total surprise attack. So it was more of the same on that dream. More. I could see the intensity of the of the plan of the attack. And it was a well-planned attack. I mean, we were overwhelmed. And it was evident that the United States was falling. That, that, that was a thing in the dream. And it was evident that this was the end times. As you were sitting here watching this on the news, and you could see them coming in from the west. They were coming in from the east, and they were coming in from the north. There was nothing coming in from the south. Now, guys, here's where it gets chilling. When I saw the, you know, these different types of military vehicles and so on and so forth, when uh, they were like zoomed in, it was amplified to me. And this is what I saw. I saw. And so we, we mass chaos, I was screaming things, um, you know, bom like the bombs were hitting the sand and just exploding and exploding and exploding and it wouldn't stop. And cause a huge, 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 huge explosion. I've never seen anything like this before. And so we all ran to our cars and we were, um, uh, we were trying to get out of the area and all of the roads started shutting down. And all of a sudden from behind us, from the distance, are like a troop of these uh, black jeeps. These black jeeps come up on us and it was too late, you know, to execute a plan to run to the woods. I'm going to recommend that you look at Amos chapter three and it talks about, you know, a land that is under judgment is going to be destroyed. And then it talks about an army that God raises for, for punishment, for, for judgment. If I can look at that prophecy as and apply it to the times that we're living in, America is the land that is going to be judged, and Russia is going to be the country to bring the judgment. I'm, I'm a patriot. I love America. I love you know the Constitution and the founding fathers, and I was born in the USA. I'm an American, and I love my people perfect or not we don't love sin of course right but i believe that there's a strong military out there it's going to bring the judgment and i believe that's going to be russia on the west coast the russians were in charge of the war on the east coast china was in charge of it the russians attacked the state of washington through canada by submarine, they attacked California and wiped out my whole family. They devastated California with their attack. I saw China in Florida and going through New York. But with the Chinese, I saw Cubans. The Chinese were issuing orders to them. And I saw Cubans and Venezuelans coming through Mexico and into Arizona, Texas, and what was left to California. That you had uh, warships surrounding our country. And you had Russians and Chinese troops in our land. And they were out and about shooting people and and uh these ships got closer to the water and all of a sudden um this ramp dropped on the ship like from the front like this and it it hit the sand and all of a sudden a bunch of people came out of the ship and they were chinese soldiers and they were wearing like blue and white camo uniforms. And they had like bullpup rifles, like type 95s or something. Um, I think some of them have had bayonets and stuff. And I think they even had like rocket launchers and stuff. And I, I was like shocked in the dream. And there was a 
whole amphibious landing on this beach and all these ships came closer to the beach at the same time and they all dropped their ramps um, at the same time and soldiers and vehicles were coming up, even amphibious vehicles that were Chinese. And it was all out there and there were submarines out there that had surfaced and they were just kicking it out there and no one seemed alarmed. It, it was like, uh, it was like entertainment. Everybody was looking at it, checking it out and wondering, you know, what's that about and whatnot. And everyone started just going about their business and stuff and just staring at it and wondering what it was all about. There was nothing in the news about it or anything. It was like a surprise. It just showed up and it was huge. It was all over the ocean out there. And I thought, wow, what's that about? But for some reason, I just had a bad feeling about it. Then all of a sudden, they started launching missiles, uh, all types of like missiles, um, bombs, so to speak, uh, towards the, the lo entire Los Angeles area, the entire coast there, and, and of the Los Angeles area, that entire harbor there. And they started uh, bombing us. And people started panicking and running everywhere. He told me that Washington, D.C. will be completely destroyed. He told me that New York will be completely destroyed. California will be destroyed. World War Three is what the Lord is revealing to me. And she was going to be in, in, in God's army. And she was going to be fighting the forces of evil in her dream. And this was many years ago. Well, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall see dreams. But he was talking about words of judgment. That's this much I know. And cause a huge, 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 huge explosion. I've never seen anything like this before. 